Hello friends, Running Kimono here. So today's video, I wanted to make it, and I've wanted to make this video like since the Dollar General clearance event, but I haven't had a free second. So finally today, we are gonna be talking about the absolute worst customer service I've received in years. S at the end because um, it's been a really long time since I've been spoken to this way as a couponer. And I am just like you. Uh, I, I don't expect special treatment in the store because I have a little YouTube channel or I'm on social media. I am just like you. And I'm also not on camera. So if I'm in front of a cashier, if I get the worst service on earth, like they don't know who I am. And that is just like how it is. And that's how I like to keep things. Um, I don't expect special treatment and um, I know how deals work. But this customer service that I received was really especially bad. So to give you guys the backstory, um, this was sometime in May over at Rite Aid. And I was at this store that I really don't frequent a lot. But the store is always stocked with all of the merchandise. It's like nobody shops there. Hmm, I don't know why. So they had this promotion that week. And it seems like three times out of the month, they always have this promotion of like, spend 50, get back 15, spend 50, get back 10. You know what I'm talking about. And how this works is this must be scanned before the cashier hits the finalization button on the cash register. So how it works at Rite Aid is you need to punch in your phone number and then you opt to press yes or no for the bonus cash. The cashier scans the merchandise and then they scan whatever coupon and then they finalize the transaction. The cashier um, who rung me up, um, rang up my items in my basket, didn't have that many items. It's like a couple detergents and a couple oral care products and one thing of um, trash bags. Like it wasn't a huge order. So she scanned everything and then immediately pressed, pressed the final pay button. I could not scan this. So I was out $15 because of that mistake. And then I said to her, I'm like, no, I didn't want a finalization. I didn't want to finalize this. Um, I, I wanted to use this coupon off of my phone or this booster off of my phone. And then immediately caught an attitude from the cashier where she was like, well, no, you have to use your bonus cash before you can use this. And at this point, I'm like, excuse me? And then the cashier pipes up and says, why exactly do you have $80 of bonus cash on your store card? She's like, that's illegal. I don't know what you're doing in your house, but that's illegal. Are you programming this in your basement? And just like going after me for this. And I explained to her in a calm fashion. And when people get really in my face, I get extra quiet because I don't want a reaction. Like I don't like, I don't deserve this. Like what the heck? So she comes after me about this being illegal. And I said to her that there's a thing called the bonus cash challenge. If you complete all 10 of them, you're credited $70. Look that up. And then she looked at me. She's like, I've never seen this amount of bonus cash. It's completely illegal. And so I'm like, well, if this is illegal, I guess we're going to have to call the police. And she didn't say it was not, you know, the store policy. She used the word illegal. So I'm assuming that has to do with the law. So I'm like, I guess we have to call the cops. Like what, you know, I'm sure the police would love to come and waste their time over something that's absolutely ridiculous. And it was just like going there. So I looked at the lady. I'm like, please get the store manager immediately. She calls the store manager and the manager's like, what's going on? And then the cashier goes to explain that she rang everything up, used my bonus cash, but I had this, this booster that I wanted to use. And then the cashier in front of her manager and myself said that I went behind the register and I pressed the final pay button. She didn't do that. I did that. So at that point, I looked at the manager and said, I know that Mike has cameras at the front here. Mike is the manager of the store. I'm like, go into Mike's office and watch that. I never went behind the counter. I never pressed anything. And she's been making stuff up for the last 10 minutes. And the manager's like, okay, well, how can we make this better? And I'm like, I'd like to return everything. And so that's what we did. And um, I went to an, a different store and then bought my transaction again. And guess what? It actually worked. But it was so, so, so trying. 
um, to be spoken to that way, to be told um, what you're doing is illegal. If you were a newer couponer and you were spoken to that way, like you would probably think you were breaking the law, which I absolutely was not doing. Spoken to in an awful way. I was, you know, in front of her manager, she was making stuff up saying I was jumping behind the counter and pressing buttons. I didn't do that. And it just one after another after another. So as her manager's doing the return, the cashier looks at me and says, well, I'm still going through my training. And I'm like, oh, well, there it is. She was doing absolutely everything, guys, to get me to shut up and leave the store. Shut up and just step in line with whatever she's saying. Because she's an employee there and I'm not. But I've been shopping there since like 2010. So I think I know how the different promotions work at your store. But she just assumed I was just an average shopper and just to shut my mouth and fall in line. Not happening. Here's the basket, guys, at the different store. Everything went perfectly, and it was like a little money maker after everything was said and done. And this was weeks ago, so it's a dead deal. But it was frustrating. It was hard to keep my wits about me um, being told, you know, illegal, fraudulent, uh, that sort of stuff that I take real um, exception to. How dare you say that when you don't even know what I'm doing and your store offers these promotions a lot because they want people like me in the store buying these deals. It was just the most ridiculous thing spoken to that way, treated that way. I could see why a lot of new shoppers, especially if you're not a confrontational person and I am not, how hard it was. And honestly, it would be so easy for me to sit back and yell at this woman and to give her what she was giving me. But it was just a, a level of rude that I've never experienced in years. And if I have the option to go to that store I'm driving by, I will never step another foot in there. That was just so ridiculous. I don't even have words. And someone like that probably won't be a cashier very long. What I can always recommend, guys, if you're ever in a situation like that, return whatever you bought that's causing such an issue. And um, I would leave the store immediately. I mean, I would have the option to rebuy everything with the manager there, but what's the point? Just leave, take your business to a different location and call it a day. Um, I think sometimes with newer hires that have no idea what they're doing, on the spot, they will make stuff up. I've seen this at several stores, Dollar General, Rite Aid, even Walgreens, they're not sure. And just to expedite a line or to get you away from the front of the store so they can serve other customers, they will just make stuff up on the spot. Like to say that to have $80 of bonus cash is illegal, like it's spectacularly stupid, about the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And I kind of wanted her to explain that to her manager too. And then she just got really quiet just an awful situation. And if I ever see this lady again, I'm running out of the store, even if everything in the store is free, just not worth it. Have you ever been in a situation this bad? Let me know down below. I'm sure a lot of you have a story, but in a situation like this, always remain cool. That is my number one piece of advice to give. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.